Good evening, my name is Jim McLaren. Today we're going to look at some wire strippers. Uh, this uh, name that it's going to be hard to pronounce here. It is uh, made in China. And uh, wire strippers. And it's called uh, Duyibi. $20 off Amazon here. Let's uh, open it up and see what we got in here. That handy cutter we have here. Comes in the case here. Wrapped in plastic. That's what we got here. Wow. So they're wrapped in plastic as well. And uh, little card in the back here. They're taped on with a Little tie wrap here. Here's the pliers itself. Wire strippers. They look very nice. On the back, they have some of the features of this wire strippers here. So let's take it apart and take a look at them. Let's use our little tool here to get this little tie wrap off. That's so nice. This tool here. Here's the pliers itself. Take a look at the literature that comes with it. There's a card that comes up. It's got a YouTube. Check them on YouTube. It uh, supported that. And the official website. I actually went to the website. As it is there. You got lots of stuff. Players is one of them. Here's a guideline book. So inside here, it gets all the features of the pliers there. And they talk about... Uh, pliers, nose there, the wire stripper, the cutter, the usual strip, splitter module, winding module, crimping tool, and do not use on live wires. These pliers are about, I would say, seven and a half. The handles do have rivets to hold the handles on, and the spring. Nice handles on this, uh, comfortable in the hand, and do not use on live circuits, it says it here somewhere, do not use on live circuits, live wires. Uh, there's a little catch here to, to keep them closed. It's a little different from the normal ones we have, the normal wire cutters I have. See the way it goes up here? Now you push it down and opens it up here. And to push it back in, you close the pliers and just push it back in. Uh, I think that's be okay. It's got a spring in between the handles here. It's got this a split and a, a crimper here. So you can put your 14-2 wire through here. You've got a winding feature. You can put four, up to four wires through and wind it. So I imagine you'd be winding it like this. It's got a nice, uh, I'm not sure if it's a rivet, it's got a nice uh, mechanism to hold it together here. They're all nice styled of them here. They're very lightweight. So let's look at some of the features. So you all, this is solid wire on this side and this is stranded wire on the other side. So 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. And for the stranded wire, you've got 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. But on the opposite side, there's no markings on the opposite side. That's a negative for me. Usually be cutting on this side anyway, but it's nice to have the numbers on the opposite side as well. They got pliers written on the top here, and you can see it's very thin here. Let's open them up here. That'll grip though, that'll grip nicely. And I think that this is where you you loop your wires. There's no actual loopers on here, on like a normal wire strippers here. So you'd have to loop your wires. So this one, I imagine. 
Feathers on this are very, uh, just going to be enough to cut the wire, I think. we got 14-2 wire here. And we're going to cut some wire here. See what I mean by just enough? It does cut it very nice, though. Now, one of the reasons I bought this particular wire stripper is for the split, the split 14-2 wire here. And that's a very, very tight fit here. And you have to line it up with the copper, between the copper and the, here we go. And splitting it. Take it back out here. It is split it. But a very tight fit here. The wires look okay so far. Let's use the cutters to cut that sheathing off here. Markings for the solid copper wire. It's just above the hole. So here's the 8, 12, and 14. Same with the stranded. It's just above the hole. So 10, 12, 14. That's uh, hard to, you don't have to count. So 1, 2, 3. So let's use some 14, 2 wire here. The third one. It cuts it, but strip the neutral wire or the uh, white wire. So it's not an easy strip. You have to pull hard on it. Other thing is, see it's beveled here, or it's the way it's, and the other side is not the numbers on it, but it's still beveled with these same thing. So I don't know why they didn't put the numbers on the other side. So let's try 18 stranded here, and the numbers are above it a bit. So it's the third one down, 18 stranded here. Cut it off and then, It cuts it, but it's not a smooth cut. It's more of a, a, a pull. No loopers on here. So I think that's where you loop your wire up in the top. Or you can you know, use the end of the pliers here to loop your wires. So let's try it out. And let's try the end of the pliers. Makes a fairly nice job. Let's try this winding feature. I've got three copper wires here. I'm just going to wind them together. So if you've got, say, uh, doing an electrical thing and you've got three ground wires, so let's twist them together here using this Hair pliers here. Twist them together pretty good. There you go. And let's use them to cut them off here. Does a pretty good job. It does have crimper here, but it doesn't show you what size of crimpers you'd uh, be using. So I'll try the crimper here. Got the uh, ground. Wire and we got a connector here. And it does work. So let's try this strip feature on the side of the pliers here. It's kind of caved here. So we'll take some sheathing off here, this 14 2 wire. We'll just strip it off here. Doesn't cut the wire. Made a nice job. So that strip feature works nice. And uh, you don't have to worry about getting cut here. It's concave. Just be careful. If you enjoyed my video today on these hard to pronounce GUB wire strippers here, they got some nice features. I really like this lock mechanism. It's like a simple design there, but easy to access here. 
uh, handles are riveted on there, nice and uh, comfortable in the hand there. And they got the spring, the nice spring in them too. Uh, a lot of different features of this particular wiring stripper. They got this, what they call the slit, where you slit your 14 2 wire. Kind of hard to get it in there, but once you get it, it does a nice job of splitting the wire. The winding part of it works very, very well. And uh, this is the first time I've ever seen a, what they call a strip on a pair of pliers here. It works fairly, fairly well. Nice uh, bolt here, wherever they call that. Nice bolt to hold the pliers together. Uh, a good range of uh, solid wire from 8, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And uh, from standard wire 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. We did try different wires and it you have pulled them apart. It's not as smooth as other pliers, but it does do a job. The top of the pliers here does have a nice, nice thin thin to them, but they have grooves in there, so you can use them to pull different things, just different objects. The loop up here, that's to do your loops there. I would like to have a loop on here somewhere. Now, the things I don't like it, what you see where the numbers are a little bit above where the hole is, so you have to make sure you get the right hole when you're cutting your wire. No numbers on the back of the pliers here. And it does have the crimping feature, but no numbers on the crimping feature. So for $20, this is a good pair of pliers. I would recommend these pliers. So please uh, share my video and ring that bell and be notified next up below the video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for joining my channel. Watch this the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great one, people. Hope you enjoyed my video on the uh, hard to pronounce give whatever it is. Maybe we looked at these hard to pronounce GB wiring.